Thank you. Yeah. I saved about an hour of witching. Nine videos? Our first video, the dump truck? Even before that. That's true. Yeah, even before that, we've been looking for this front axle. And why is it so hard to find? I don't know. It's a six lug. I don't know why, why they didn't. Let's only put them in certain GMCs. We never saw a Chevy with it. And uh, all the old farm boys probably just keep them out back of their property and never put them on the Craigslist. Yeah, we'll show you the uh, dump truck and what it actually had for me. Man. Smells better in there now. It's getting washed out. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we need. Oh yeah, we're missing all of this. It goes on the axle. Because I think the kingpin broke, and then some other brackets were cut and broke, and we couldn't find those. Um, we did try to roll this over by the fan, and uh, the engine wouldn't roll. So we're assuming that the engine seized. I already took the plugs out and we're in a rush, so we just sprayed some lubricant in there. And we're just gonna try try yanking on her. Uh, it smells good. Because we don't care. Like if it rolls over, it'll be rad. If not, we are just using the front end anyway. It's kind of a bonus, will it start? Because we don't care. Yeah. And it'd be an extra engine laying around. Exactly. It doesn't I don't think this is factory. Got some Organ, organ crap for uh, Washington land. How far away was this truck? I don't know. We were driving for eight hours uh, both ways. For a front axle. Yeah. In a shitty old excursion. <laughs> Look at this return spring. This someone like used a coat hanger and wired it to the steering box. This one's not oil bath. This is a regular air filter. Oh, cool. We can put that on our. We're going to flip this upside down and gain 10 horsepower like on the old small block 350 and 305s with a TDI. This crank is way down there. I don't know if I can get through it through the bumper. Definitely not. So, we got to get this door open. This spins in circles. Pry bar? Pry bar. No, we'll use the proper tool. The pry bar. Yeah. I probably wanted to took it back inside. I originally just on top of the dumpster, so it wouldn't be far. And then I went and got the excursion key. Let's clarify this is a different pry bar. And we're looking for it. Yeah. Either way, it's a crap tool. Oh, 
latch. It's already past the latch. Hey. That's kind of crazy. Hey, rope. Yes. Rope and mouse house. Okay, there is two battery cables. I don't know what's what. Oh, this one is. This one's going to ground, so this one's. 1986. Ooh, that's a premium organ plate. Yeah. We were wondering how long this thing's been sitting. So, probably 1986. Huh. General Motors truck. Ford. When they went reliable heat, they gotta go with Ford. But a reliable truck, you go with GMC. I guess we'll put a battery in it. Kick the floor kicker and see if it spins. It started it some, that's cool. It's moving it around. Oh yeah! A lot more than we thought so far. Yeah, I, I had no hopes when I felt that engine. I was like, yeah, this is seized. Oh. Especially because we only put that lube in there. It's only been there for about 20 minutes. Uh, clean the points? Yes. Are you okay? Yeah, that, that shocked me. We might have to steal the points out of the dump truck. It's really nice and shiny now. Bright and shiny. Our old trusty all the electric fuel pump uh, to a gas can. Yeah, Alright.
too, so maybe it'll... Drive off, but it'll drag off. <laughs> 